The YSI 6 Series multi-parameter songs continue to be one of the most rugged, reliable, and accurate water quality instruments, and a favorite for numerous applications, specifically groundwater monitoring events. In this video, we'll provide an overview of the most common probes, and also a few tips about using the 6 Series. There are four probes commonly used with the 6 Series. The 600 models use three of these, while the 6820, 6920, and 6600 have ports available for all four, and more. Here we see a combination conductivity and temperature probe. Make a note that the conductivity vent hole is located on the side of the probe, not at the bottom. Next, we have the combination pH and ORP probe. You'll notice that there are two bulbs at the bottom of this probe. The larger bulb is used for pH readings, and the smaller bulb takes ORP readings. The dissolved oxygen, or DO, probe is the final probe that can be installed on the 600XL or 600XLM model. We'll discuss DO probe maintenance later in this video. Finally, here is the turbidity probe that can be installed on the 6820, 6920, and 6600 models. During your monitoring event, after you have connected the 650 display to the sonde, you may notice that the battery indicator is low. We suggest that you install new C-cell batteries to avoid problems related to low voltage supply to the sonde. Once the new batteries are installed, you may notice that the 650 display no longer connects to the sonde. Press the escape button, scroll down, and select the system setup screen. If the power sonde option is not checked, scroll to it and press the enter button. The handheld display should now be able to send power to the sonde and connect. When calibrating any instrument that has multiple probes, it's important to remember that readings from one probe may affect the readings obtained from the other probes. Many times we'll notice that the DO probe is not working correctly, which also affects pH readings. Usually, taking a few moments to replace the DO solution and membrane will resolve any problems related to DO readings. Once the O-ring, membrane, and solution have been removed, the technician places drops of DO solution onto the end of the probe until there is a meniscus that is completely free of air bubbles. Next, he stretches a new membrane over the end of the probe and seals it in place by pushing the O-ring over it. If done correctly, the membrane will have no wrinkles and there will be no air bubbles underneath. Finally, he removes the excess membrane. When calibrating, remember to use enough calibration solution so that the sensors are completely submerged. Before calibrating a new sensor, remember to briefly rinse all of the sensors to remove the previous calibration solution. Following a calibration checklist will ensure that sensors are calibrated properly every time. Following these tips will ensure accurate readings for your next groundwater monitoring event. And remember, if you have any questions regarding this or any other project, a knowledgeable and experienced U.S. environmental associate is ready to assist you.